I mean, we've already been doing you know, a lot of AI and cyber for the for uh, the, the in the technological side of it. You know, the company I work for has a lot of uh, machine learning capability in our managed service in order to stop bad stuff in real time. Uh, the, you know, there's people who are the doom and gloom players on oh, chat GTP and AI are going to destroy our ability to secure environments. I don't think that's true at all, um, because we've always been great at responding to whatever challenges that we that come up against us. So human beings are incredibly resilient, anti-fragile, in fact, and so we will be able to respond to it. But the things that haven't changed are the ways that the packet is transported. So right now we're still, you know, it's still binary data on TCP IP. And so that gives us an advantage in that, that there's a limited uh, and knowable amount of space that these things can happen. So there's gonna be things that, um, you know, artificial intelligence or some of these new technologies, deep fakes, whatever they are, are gonna cause problems. For example, I would think facial recognition as a way to do, um, uh, say, uh, uh, authentication will have to go by the wayside with the way deep fakes are working now. That, that just seems like it's not going to hold up under that kind of pressure. I could be wrong, but who knows? Uh, but uh, so we're going to, it's going to change some of the ways we do uh, authentication, perhaps. Uh, it's certainly going to help attackers build new tools and new tools that can't that haven't been seen before. But we're we're already seeing that with the way malware toolkits create functionally a, a zero day attack all the time. So we have to have you know deeper investigations other than just static signatures in order to look for uh, particular attacks or threats. So I, I'm not particularly worried on that. I mean, I, I think it's a you know, ChatGTP is a is kind of a fun thing right now. Uh, the, if you know, ChatGTP four when it comes out, it's supposed to be massively bigger. Uh, you know, and, and there's all kinds of uh, things going on in that world. Um, but I, I'm optimistic in the resilience of, of human beings. Uh, I'm also of the belief that, given the fact that that the, the networks that this thing runs up these things run on are are finite right so there's a finite amount of things that can be done and and so we'll figure that stuff out so uh but it is certainly fascinating um and let, let's see if in august skynet becomes self-aware <laughs> finally it, it's only it's only what is that supposed to be self-aware and what was it 95 maybe i can't yeah. remember yeah right <laughs> But so it's it's a little bit behind, quite frankly. So uh, if you watch the movies, we have let every 